What do you think of when I say the word, for instance, dentist? Do good thoughts come to your mind? I kind of doubt it, at least not for me. How about if I say the word taxes? Oh, oh who loves April 15th and the tax man cometh? That also doesn't dredge up many good memories. Well, how about this word? History. Ha! Oh, remember those days in school when you'd sit in history class and it was all about dates. This happened on this date and this happened on that date and then names of people and you couldn't even pronounce and you were expected and I was expected to be able to reproduce those on a test. I never really did very well in history, to be honest. And some of my history classes were a whole lot less than interesting until I got to seminary. When I was in seminary, I had a professor that used a phrase, and this was the phrase, to know where we are theologically is to know where we've come from historically. And for the first time, I began to understand the importance of history. We say a phrase in our world, we say those who are ignorant of history are bound to repeat it because some people think of history as cyclical. But do you know that history is actually linear? That is, it's moving from one point to another. Oh, I think sometimes we do the same thing over and over again, but history is actually moving to a point out there in the future that God has already planned. When Jesus was on the earth, he came to present himself to the Jewish people as their Messiah. But of course, they rejected his, his offer. And in Matthew 16, 18, he said this, And upon this rock I will build my church. And do you know that since the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 until this very day, that is what God has been doing, is building his church. And I think that for many of us, we're pretty ignorant when it comes to church history. I am not a church historian um, expert. I'm certainly not even probably a church historian buff, as it were. I know some of the major issues, but what I would like to do over the next few months is to just get together with you and have some really short snippets related to church history. Do you know the first church history book and the first church historian? His name was Luke, and he wrote the book of Acts. And that book is in the Bible as a specific book to give us the understanding of early church history. And then throughout the rest of the, of the ages, since that day until today, there have been important dates, there have been important people, there have been important events that have happened that have shaped who we are and where we are in the church. So what I'd like to do with us over, the, over these little video clips is to be able to help you and I to review some of those people and dates and events. I trust you'll join me as we look at some important stuff. We're not going to deal a lot with this date and that date, I want to help you to understand how important it is for you and I to understand that in the past, God has used the church and he will continue to use the church in the future to take the gospel to the world until he's finally finished with it. So join us in this brief look at church history from the first century until this century and let's look at it together to understand how important the church has been to the flow of history. Thank you.